Well, you have a need to provide clean drinking water for a lot of people. We have an answer for you. Hey, Provider Preppers, I'm Jonathan. Today we're talking about drinking water, and I don't think we have to mention very much that this is critically important. Drinking water is important for all of us. We recommend that you have at least two gallons per person per day for two weeks stored in your home. That is going to be your best and safest water. But what are you going to do when that runs out? In an extended crisis, we're going to have to figure out how to clean and disinfect water. Now there's a lot of good filters out there and if you click the card in the corner, you'll be able to go to a video that we made that addresses different kinds of filters, all kinds of uh, good information on filters. But today we're going to focus on port well For our own situation, we will potentially have the need to provide water for a lot of people. Now we've used gravity filters, we've used hand pump filters. Um, and these do a great job, except that they can't put out a lot of water in a short period of time. And that's where port well comes in. As we were looking out there, this seems to be the answer that we've been looking for to allow us to create a lot of clean water in a short period of time. Let's unbucket the port well So first of all, right on the lid here is your quick start guide. It's got the layout of the system. Um, so that having this right here is, is nice and handy. Then everything else that you need except for the power source is contained in this bucket. So let's just kind of walk through this right from start to finish. Um, first of all, this runs off a 12 volt system. It comes with this SAE connector that connects to the port well and then to your battery using the standard battery clips. Um, but stay tuned because we're going to show you an even better way to handle that. Um, okay, so let's start right here. We're going to start right from the water end to go to the clean water end. Uh, this is a screened inlet, so you're not going to get a lot of garbage in. This will screen out most of it, so this is going to go right into your water source. That is then going to be pumped using this little pump and motor system. It's going to be pumped through here. In here I have a ceramic filter and in here I have a carbon filter. So it's going to put that through the ceramic filter first, then through the carbon filter. The ceramic filter is going to do most of the heavy lifting here. It's going to clean up that water, um, get rid of most all the pathogens, and then it's going to put it into the carbon filter which will do the polishing. It'll uh, deal with taste and odor issue, chemical issues. So this is a good setup. But you can also use this sediment filter um, you can use that instead of this one, use the sediment filter first and then the ceramic filter. So you can interchange these to meet your specific need. If you've got a water source that's fairly dirty, you're going to want to use this sediment filter to clean out as much stuff as you can. This screen will get a lot of it, but sometimes you still have finer stuff that would get through there that you don't want plugging up your ceramic filter. So using the sediment filter uh, would be a great idea. Then you could put it through here. Then if you wanted to put it through again, you could use the ceramic and the carbon to polish it. Um, but that, that's going to depend on your water system or your water situation and what you need to do. So we're, we're taking that water through here, through here, and then the water exits right here and you can put that right into your container. Some of the other features that I like about this is this little handle. It's, it may seem like a small deal, but it makes it very easy to handle this. And it's only about 12 pounds. Uh, so this whole setup is actually very light, very portable. Um, easy to haul about. So um, I really do like that. As far as the capacity of this, it will do a, up to a gallon a minute or 60 gallons in an hour, um, which is a lot more than most filters are able to do. Another thing that I want to mention to you is that uh, I just got notified from Portowell that they are coming out with a three filter system. So um, then you'll have all of these all in one package. You'll have the sediment filter followed by the ceramic filter follow followed by the carbon filter. So that is coming very soon. Um, it sounds like maybe uh, just in the next couple of weeks. Let's get back to the powering options. We had talked about the cord that comes with the unit the SAE connector and the ability to clip to a battery, whether that's in your car or a little lawn and garden battery, whatever that is. But I've got a solution that I think is even better. 
uh, I went and purchased this extension cord, which converts from a, your standard cigarette lighter plug in your car to the SAE connector that fits into this unit. But instead of using a car battery, we're going to use a power station. This power station is much easier to haul around than this battery. I don't like handling batteries, um, but this is nice and clean and easy. This will plug in the cigarette lighter adapter into here. And this cord is about 17 feet long, so I can, I can have this a little bit away from the Portowell unit itself. So I think that is the, the best option for running this thing. Um, and then this will just recharge using the solar panel. Or if I'm going to leave it there on site for some period of time, I'll just leave the solar panel right next to the portable power station at the site. So that's, uh, I think this is just an excellent way to be able to run this thing uh, without having to handle batteries or, or deal with that. And this cord is plenty long to allow you some space in there. Let's talk about price here. Uh, first of all, this unit normally runs $399, basically $400 for this unit with the three filters. Right now they have a special, you can get that for about $330, so they do have a, a good special right now. Um, as far as the filters are concerned, uh, let's start with the sediment filter. These are only four bucks. You can get these filters through port -well, or you can get them from whatever source you want. These are a standard size uh, double open end filter, so uh, these are readily available in a variety of places. I just think it's handier to get it through port well because then it's, it's all coming from the same place. But, um, so this, this sediment filter will have a life of I mean, if you had really, really nasty water, you probably wouldn't get much through this. If you've got very clean water, this will last for probably thousands of gallons. Um, as far as the ceramic filter, this is silver impregnated to help with disinfection. This will go 10,000 gallons. Um, and obviously, the cleaner the water, the better, but this is rated for 10,000 gallons. Um, if you need to pick up an extra one of these, they run $24. Um, the carbon filter, it has a rating of 1,000 gallons on it. Um, again, if you've got really clean water, you can probably get that. These are these run $20. So this is not, not too expensive to replace these filters. I would have two or three of each of these filters on hand just to make sure that you can get through whatever crisis may come your way. So anybody could have given you all this information, but let's go out and kick some tires. Okay, so let's let's do this. We're going to pull the porta well out here, and as I mentioned before, we're going to use um, we're going to use this power station instead of the uh, battery uh, cable, um, and we're not going to use the sediment filter because this water is very very clean. Just making sure that's stable. Then we will plug the uh, SAE connector in to the port here. This hose is going to go into our jug, and it's just that simple. This only took about 30 seconds to get set up here. We're all hooked into the power station. We're ready to go and we're cleaning water right now. You can see it's just filling up these um, chambers. And here comes water. It's just about that easy. Within one minute, we are um, cleaning water and filling our jug. Of course the engineer in me wants to know numbers. I want to know how much I can purify and clean in, you know, an hour or whatever. But I'm going to measure this. I'm going to use my stopwatch. We'll start this. We'll see how long it takes to fill this five gallon jug. Ready? Go. If you do want to use your car battery, you're simply just going to put these clips on the battery. plug this in. It's 
just about that simple. So it took us seven and a half minutes to fill this to five gallons. Um, so about one gallon every minute and a half. Um, which is not too terrible. It's gonna depend on your filters, which filters you're using. So running it through the ceramic filter and the carbon filter slows it down just a little bit, but that's still pretty decent to be able to get five gallons in seven and a half minutes. So there you have it. This is the Porta Well. Um, I'm very impressed with this. There's a lot of great things to like about this. It's lightweight, it's portable. The filters are easy to obtain and easy to change. Um, and it cranks out a lot of water in a short period of time. Um, so if you're interested in this further, there's a link in the description. You can check this out, um, get with them, ask questions. They're great people. And now for the question of the day. What are your plans for filtering more water after your stored water is gone? Comment below. And thanks for being part of the solution. The crisis is over and our family has been well taken care of. Now it's time to take care of our equipment. So there are very easy to follow instructions in the instruction booklet. You need to make sure this all gets cleaned out and dried out and put back together so it's ready to go next time you need it.